What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today we're going to be changing this intake on this E46M3. So I've been running a BMC drop-in filter and the Bemarel silicone elbow. Been doing that for about a year now, but now it's time for a real intake. And I'm going with the AFE intake. <laughs> Here's the AFE intake kit that I bought from Bimmer World. It's intake arm, brackets, ooh, the cleaner kit, instructions, license plate frame. Some of the rubber gaskets. Intake filter, and then the heat shield. So the first thing we're going to do is remove these pop rivets, pop off the clips to the intake box, and remove the clamps and pull off the intake. This is the BMC drop-in filter that I've been running. So now the intake's off and we just gotta get ready to install the new AFE intake. I saw this rubber trim seal. You see there's a slit right here, so you can line it up perfectly. Start at the corner. We're going to start it like this for now, and then we can trim off this if we have to later. So let's drop it into the car. So we already removed the rubber grommet down there. So we're going to just drop this in to test fit it. See that lines up with that. This lines up with the hole for the HID. We saw the rubber piece onto the intake tube and we're going to slide it through the opening and we're going to slide it to the intake manifold we're going to put the clamps on later for now we're going to line up this hole with the hole in the heat shield so that's loosely installed now we're going to install this plate that came with it it goes over like this near the allen head screws now we're going to install the washer and nut that came with the kit to the bottom down here. The intake's all tight. I tighten this up, all the bolts and nuts up, put the clamps on. Now we're gonna grab the MAF sensor from the stock intake arm. Good thing is the AFE kit came with this special um, bit to remove the MAF sensor. So you see there's that, it's like a star with a little nipple. So here's the stock MAF the AFE kit came with this gasket and some tiny screws to install into the arm. So I put the foam gasket that came with the kit. I'm going to install the map. So the sensor is on. I just got to click in the map sensor. So everything is all tight. The map's on. The last thing we have to do is install the intake filter. The intake filter is on. Now I got to put on the top cover. Here it is, installed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.